Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. I am also a part-time YouTuber, so today I have off. It is currently Monday. I don't normally do any of my sourcing on Mondays, but decided to do that today. I wanted to go get my nails done because they're terrible, but apparently they're short-staffed, so I'm going to a different nail place, but I am passing by a Goodwill, so how can I pass by a Goodwill without going? I don't know. So I know I probably shouldn't be going thrifting, but I definitely am, so I will definitely do some footage inside the Goodwill and hopefully find some good stuff. So wish me luck! sold video because on my short thrift haul I only found two items so I decided to just make this a longer video so I am in my car on my lunch break by the way but uh, so I will go over what has sold I haven't had a ton of sales just because I haven't been listing as much as I need to be so I really need to get the ball rolling on that just the more you list obviously the more you are going to sell so this is going to be in the last few weeks of what has sold on the three platforms that I'm selling on which are eBay, Poshmark, which are eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So my first sale was on eBay. It was this pair of Rag and Bone Women's Warren Medium Wash Skinny Denim Jeans. They were a size 26. These did sit for a very, very long time and I'm thinking it's just because of the fit. So they do appear to be low rise and they are skinny and they are kind of a smaller size, but these sat for a very, very long time and I finally took a best offer of $15. I do think that Rag & Bone is still a good brand to pick up for sure. It just has to be the right style and it has to be a substantial piece and it can go for a lot more money than $15. So my next sale was these bathing suit bottoms or bikini bottoms. They were the brand Prana. They did take a very long time to sell as well. So these have been sitting for probably over a year and I just wanted them gone. So this was in the time frame where I thought basically anything Prana would sell. So I saw these at the bins, I think, and I decided to pick them up. Um, just, they are just basic and I think that's why they did not sell and they did not come with a bikini top so I just wanted them gone like I said somebody offered four dollars and I'm like bye see ya <laughs> my next sale was another bikini item I was kind of shocked about that just because being that it is mid-October I don't think that a ton of people are buying swimsuits this is a Victoria's Secret coral pink color ruffle underwire bikini and it comes with as a set so I took best offer of $20 I think I had these listed for originally 25 and just decided to take best offer my next sale was this Leoma Love Grove dress it was a 3XL so this has been a consistent brand that I have been reselling it does not sell for a ton of money so I definitely wouldn't pay up and I had this originally listed for around 30 because I didn't know how the dresses would do. I was hoping that I would get a little bit more money for the dresses. And I'm seeing that these are terrible photos. And yeah, I don't know what happened with this listing actually. I don't know what is going on with the title. Usually I'm a little bit better about that. So this is just a Leomo Love Grove dress. If you've watched any of my other recent videos I found this brand not too long ago and I've been consistently selling it so I'm going to continue to do so with that being said don't pay up because they don't sell for a ton but they it does have a super high sell through rate with the tops and I r randomly came across a pair of bottoms they were a wide leg really really lightweight just elastic bottoms uh, from Leona, Leoma Love Grove and they are still sitting. So I definitely would stick with the tops. My next sale was this 
t-shirt. It is Life is Good. It's a woman's gray t-shirt. It did have some wear on it. So just kind of faded a little bit. So not too bad. But I do know that this brand does very well, especially with the larger sizes in both men's and women's. I took a best offer of $10. I haven't had this listed for that long, but like I was saying earlier, I my sales have not been that great because I have just not been listing. I've been pretty busy with my personal life, so I definitely need to get back on the ball with that and also make more videos, so I apologize. My next item was a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren Men's Distress Cutoff Blue Denim Jeans. They were a size 33. I took a best offer of $12 just because it is definitely out of season. They have been kind of sitting for a while, so I was surprised. I think it's because I realized that these were, somebody actually made them into jean shorts. They used to be jeans, I wanna say. So that might be the reason why it took so long. I didn't realize at the time and I got them at the bin, so it wasn't a huge disappointment to me. I was happy to see them go. But I do think that anything Ralph Lauren or Polo Ralph Lauren, if it's a unique piece, definitely look it up regardless of what it is, whether it's a shirt, a suit, women's, men's, it's a very strong brand depending on what you get. Wow, these are some really, really terrible sales. Very low-ended items, so hopefully I get into some good stuff soon. <laughs> My next item is another sale that I didn't make a ton of money on. So like I'm saying, I have taken best offer on a lot of these. So my next item is uh, Air Jordan Boys gray black full zip hooded jacket uh, size medium, which is a 10, 12 in boys. There were some very large flaws with it, if I can remember, uh, lots of holes. And I somehow missed this at the bins, <laughs> but yeah, so th I just let that go. I mean, I shouldn't have even listed it. I should have just redonated it, honestly, because there was so much wrong with this. But apparently I listed it. It did take a couple months to sell, but I do in general love selling Nike Air Jordan, usually in men's and in, in larger sizes. I don't necessarily really pick up any of the boys stuff unless it's a substantial piece just because it just doesn't resell for as much as it does with, with men's pieces. My next item is this pair of leggings, which is by the brand Smartwool. These were Merino 250 asymmetrical pant leggings and they were a size large. And there were no flaws with it whatsoever, except I couldn't find a fabric tag. It looked like it had been cut off. So I looked up similar listings and I had obviously put that in the listing as well that I I was unable to tell you exactly what the leggings were made of, but I found that there was a listing and it said that it was merino wool. So they those sold extremely quickly. I think I took best offer of $30. So definitely a very good brand to be on the lookout for. Definitely a bull over brand for sure. These sold very quickly for $30, which is not bad for a pair of leggings. So definitely keep your eye out for that brand. My next sale was this Eileen Fisher navy blue color block tinsel long sleeve sweater and it was a size extra large. This took a, lot, a long time to sell as well. I definitely rarely pass up Eileen Fisher. So I was surprised that it took so long. It must have been something wrong with my pictures or something because Eileen Fisher sells really well. Size extra large is a great size. So I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Sometimes it just happens. So keep your eye out for Eileen Fisher and definitely if it is made of substantial fabric, definitely put that in the listing as well because that will up the value and up the likelihood that your item will sell. My next item that sold took a long time too. For whatever reason, this, this last couple of weeks, a lot of stuff has been selling that has been sitting. So a lot of this stuff is super old. So this has been sitting for maybe a year. Uh, it sold for best offer of $12. It's an athleta, gray, breezy, open back, long sleeve top. It was size extra, extra large, or I'm sorry, extra, extra small. So I'm assuming 
that's why it took a long time to sell. Now with that being said, I put it on and I'm definitely not an extra, extra small and it was large on me. So I did put in the title of the listing, it runs large. My next item was a Torrid Black Ruffle Faux Wrap Cocktail Plastic 3 4 Sleeve Dress. It was a size 4XL. It sold for a best offer of $20. With Torrid, I, it's been a hit or a miss for me. I definitely would consider it a bolo brand, but it's got to be a, a substantial piece. And make sure that you check the fabric for any holes, stains. I have noticed that I find it at the bins and sometimes there's holes in it. So I'm not saying that it's not good quality. I just have noticed that a lot more lately with Torrid. And it has been a slower sale for me. It's not always a quick flip depending on what it is. Now with that being said, I listed this recently and it's coming into the fall time. So it's got to be the right season for you to make that kind of assumption about a brand and about whatever you're selling. But I still pick up Torrid as long as it's a substantial piece. My next item was a pair of these Michael Kors Navy Blue Canvas Espadrille Wedge Heels. They were a size 9. The model was called the Demita. And I can't remember if I got these at the bins or a mom and pop thrift shop. They were in pretty good condition. You can see some wear just where the toes are a little bit. It actually looks worse in this picture than it does in person, but I just wanted to include all the wear. There was barely any wear on the, on the soles of the shoes. And they were, looks like, four inch heels. A lot of times I include that in the title. I, don't, I guess I must have missed that. But I accepted a best offer of $20 just because, I, like I said, I haven't been getting a ton of sales. So I could have waited and got maybe $25. But Michael Kors, depending on what it is, is not something that is super, super uh, valuable and, and resells for a lot. It just depends. Make sure you do your comps before you find, or I'm sorry, before you buy anything Michael Kors because it's not always going to sell especially this Michael, Michael Kors. So there is a line Michael Kors and then Michael, Michael Kors. And Michael, Michael Kors isn't as valuable as Michael Kors, but I still, even if it's just Michael Kors, I still would do your research. This was another item that took forever to sell. The brand is Carbon to Cobalt. I was told that it was a Bolo brand and this was actually the first time I found a Carbon to Cobalt. So I decided to pick it up. And with it being a Henley shirt, I thought that added value as well. So I'm not sure if it's just my pictures or it's just not a valuable piece. Well, now I'm looking and I see why. There's not that many pictures. <laughs> so sometimes I have terrible reception and I'll upload, because I like to upload 12 photos. That's the max that you can upload on eBay. And I like to always utilize my resources and make sure I upload as many pictures as possible. But I'm seeing that when I go back and look at listings that not all my photos uploaded. So I don't know if y'all have experienced that. Make sure you, making sure all of your, <laughs> all of your photos are being uploaded. I, I guess that's without being said, but apparently a lot of mine haven't been uploading. So that could be the reason I, I'll pick it up again. I won't pay up for it. And I only pay, I only sold it for $10. Comment below if you've had any success with this brand or haven't, or what your thoughts are about this brand, Carbon to Cobalt. My next sale was this Women's Carhartt Pink Red Sherpa Lined Full Zip Utility Work Vest, size small. I took a best offer for $30 because there was a ton of wear on this. Lots of random stains, definitely some fading. I think though the brand Carhartt is a very solid brand and a lot of people buy it to use it for work. So it's not necessarily about cosmetic. They're looking for the durability of this brand and, and the quality. They know that it's made well. But yeah, so it sold for 30. I think I had it originally listed for maybe 40 and I took best offer of 30 and I was happy to see that go. That took about a month and a half to sell. 
My next sale are a pair of the North Face Women's Blue Jogger cropped pants. They were a size extra small. Another item that took forever to sell. I think I had these listed around 25 originally. And with them being extra small, I think that is why they didn't sell for a lot and, and quickly. I found these at the bin, so I was willing to just pick them up. I I would continue to pick up anything North Face for a good deal. You might not get a ton of money for it, but I still like the brand. Just like anything, just do your research. So my next item was a Prana dress. It was, the style name was called Quinn, and I put in the style number as well. It was a racer bag. This sold extremely quick for me on a best offer. It was a size large. It had a built-in shelf bra and it sold for $20, which I uh, took best offer. I think I had it originally listed around 30. So I decided to buy another Prana dress and I think I mentioned that in my previous video and that one's been sitting for a while now. So now we're going to jump over to Poshmark, which I haven't had a ton of sales with that lately. So my first sale on Poshmark were these Nike Pro Combat compression leggings. They were men's size medium and they had a flaw. So they had a flaw. There was a hole in it. I got these at the bins. I didn't realize the hole. So I originally listed them for $15 because of the hole and took a best offer of $10. All right, another low profit sale here. This is an Adidas sweatshirt. I saw, the only reason I got this was because I got it at the bins, first of all, and second of all, there were some really good comps on it and it has been sitting forever and I just wanted it gone so I took an offer for $10 that someone offered me on Poshmark and I'm like, whatever. I was done with it. Now I have more closet space. So it is what it is, right? My next item are a pair of these Brooks Women's Ghost Leopard Purple Black Sneakers. They were a size 7.5. They were in pretty good condition. There were a couple cosmetic flaws, but not, not anything substantial. I did notate that in listing and also take detailed pictures but these sold in less than a month for a best offer of $55. My next sale was a pair of Antonio Milani Shane leather ankle zip-up booties size 9 and I wouldn't necessarily commit this brand to memory. I was given these Boot, booties by a patient which was so nice so I listed these and it was just pure profit so I took a best offer of $22 and I would say that it is all about the time of year that you that you list something if you've been sitting on something that is winter time or if you've been sitting on something that is would normally be used in the winter like a winter jacket or snow pants or something and it's been listed for over a year I would consider ending the listing and do sell similar because that will come up as a new listing so I have done that a few times and it's definitely worked out in my favor so anything that you're kind of sitting on I would just go through either your closet or your store on eBay and just try relisting it all right, so that's literally it for Poshmark. My next what sold video, I'm gonna have better sales, I promise. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna jump over to Mercari. I haven't sold a ton of stuff on Mercari, but I'll show you what I have sold. All right, so my sale on Mercari is a pair of Hoka One One, I think that's how you pronounce it. Let me know in the comments if I'm just butchering that. But I used to think it's 1-1 one, one, and then I was watching a thrift channel on YouTube called Rally Roots. If you haven't heard of them, I would definitely check them out. But I think that he, I think Ryan from Rally Roots pronounces it One One. So let me know if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But I sold these for $45. I accepted best offer 
They, there was 100% sulfur rate on these. Definitely a bull over it. If you don't know about these, you definitely pick them up because I've only found these twice and both of them had, had consider, considerable amount of wear and they've sold very quickly for a pretty decent amount of money. So these were just women's size seven, yes. And sold for $45 and this was on Mercari. My next sale on Mercari was this Travis Matthew polo shirt. And if you don't know about Travis Matthew, it is a golf brand. And I took best offer of $20. This sold in one day. So definitely a polo brand if you're not familiar. My next sale were a pair of these Spanx. They were called the Vintage Distress Ankle Skinny Jeggings or Jeans. They were a size small, so the larger sizes, of course, do better, but these were basically a pair of pull-on jegging jeans from Spanx. I love selling Spanx. These don't do as well as the faux leather or the moto faux le leather leggings, but they do pretty well. Since it's a size small, these don't go for as much as if they were a larger size. So I took a best offer of $18. So my next item that I sold were a pair of these Nike shoes. They were called Trueberry Pink Women's Running Sneakers. Or they were the Nike Renew is what the, the model is called. Nike Renew In Season TR9. I don't know. I just looked up a similar listing. So that's what I put in there. And they sold with... Probably within two weeks, there were a lot of likes and a lot of watch washers on this particular pair of shoes, but no one was really taking the bait of my offers, but I finally accepted an offer for $21. All right, so that is everything. It has been a very slow couple of weeks, so I am going to really, really buckle down and start listing again. So thank you so, so much for watching. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate all of your support and I hope you all have a wonderful week.